All right, welcome everybody on this great evening once again with Dusupe. My name is Haz, and today we are going to discuss one of the most powerful features and most important features in making payments in with Dusupe, and we are going to discuss sub accounts. Okay, so today's webinar um is about sub accounts, and right before I get into this window where I have to explain to you uh, how it functions, allow me to show you exactly what sub accounts are as opposed to what a merchant account is. So a merchant account is where you receive your payments, is where your general Dusupe account management is done. That is where you receive uh, your reports, that's where you, you see your ana analytics, that's where you use Octopus, it's where you make your monthly subscription and everything that falls under general account management. Um, so you receive payments through it as well. It's your general account. You deposit payments to the merchant account. You find all your analytics through that merchant account. However, a merchant account on its own cannot make payments. So what do you need? You need a sub account. What a sub account does is first of all, select money from your merchant account and categorize it under a currency and in that currency the reason we have sub accounts is because we realize our users um the customers and the clients and the family that uses Dusupay may want to pay out to a lot of different people who use different currencies that is the base of uh, the formation of Dusupay so the reason we have sub accounts is so you can be able to create all these other accounts under your major merchant account that belong to different currencies and the moment you transfer money from your merchant account it could be let's say in united states dollars the moment you put it on a sub account you select whether you want it to be in ugandan shillings or, or kenya shillings or the nigerian naira or the south african rand or whatever african currency you're choosing to pay out to so in a sub account you're able to make payments you're able to withdraw funds through the sub account and you're able to manage different currencies under your merchant account which you cannot do if you're only using a merchant account so after you have a sub account there's a bank sub account there's some sub accounts that belong to bank accounts these sub accounts pay out only to bank accounts of different countries in different currencies and then there's the mobile money sub account which pays out to mobile money um platforms across the continent regardless of what currency it's in or which part of the world it's in so uh again just to recap a merchant account is is the major it's the big show it's the main account but under the merchant account is a sub account which has different currencies and and it's the it's denominations are bank and mobile money so we continue over to my uh back to my login window so okay so as we continue in our merchant account um let's use this merchant account right here um to test our sub account so when you go up on the tab of the sub account you find that um, you have mobile money as earlier described and you have bank. So we've already here created a Ugandan shilling sub account and it has this money put on it. So whatever, whoever I'll be paying out to through this Ugandan sub account, it has to be a Ugandan user to a Ugandan mobile money uh, account. And if I want to pay them out, I click on payout and I'll enter the amount of money. I'll put their mobile number and the name of the, of the user and instantly the money will be uh, will be paid to them. For example, if I say I want to send 500 Ugandan shillings to 256-705-453894, and his name is, and we write his names like that, and uh, forgive that. Okay, and we say continue. So when you click continue, uh, you have to enter your DusuPay password again to be able to uh, to be able to send this money to this person. And then when I click continue here, and when we go to the bank, it's the same process. You say payout, or you can recharge, and you recharge from your account, your merchant account. So when you put in the money here, it comes in from your merchant account and it gets deposited to your Nigerian account. It will take one to two days to get uh, verified and you'll be fine. And how to create a sub account, you can say create mobile money sub account right here. And you just write, put in the currency 
the amount of money that sub account will have you can select to allow withdrawing in currencies other than the specific currency or you can uncheck it and you click continue and we'll be good to go and creating bank sub accounts you come still to bank and you say create bank sub account fill in the currency amount of money you may want to be withdrawing through that sub account and click continue and just like that you would have your sub account so keep remembering this for you to make payouts you have to use your sub account for you to make withdrawals you have to use your sub account for you to transfer money from your merchant account to your bank account you have to use sub accounts generally the use of sub accounts is for you to be able to convert money from your dosu pay account to money that you can be able to send to your bank account so you always have to remember that and that's all we had for today on the dosu pay sub account hope to catch you again soon